Yo! Hello my lovelies and welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi! Big Sister Shell is back. She's here to spill the tea on the best life advice you ever need. I'm just saying. Well, in this case, I wish people had told me sooner because I would have gone through life so much easier if people had just sat me down and given me this advice, but they didn't. I had to learn the hard way. So here I am spilling my wisdom with you. Bad five pretty soon, everybody. Blah. DJ spinning and I said, mama. Without further ado, let me jump into the video and fix my hair because what the hell is actually going on here? Grab your glasses, grab some water, to swallow these hard to swallow pills. Okay, I need my glasses for this one. Hot tip number one, everything from high school doesn't matter. Bullies, popular kids, teachers, bad grades, all of the above. Once you graduate, once you have that certificate in your hand, everything disappears. It's such a big thing at the time as well because it's all you're thinking about, you know? Nothing else matters except for high school in those moments. It's so strange. Once high school is over and everyone who isn't stuck on the fact that they peaked in high school, moves on and goes to study at university or gets a full-time job and starts saving for their future. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter. It's such a small fraction of our lives. Don't let it consume you and don't worry about the people that peaked in high school because that's probably going to be their only achievement. So let them have that at least and then you can move on to bigger and better things. It's great. Don't worry what others think of you. Seriously, at the end of the day, those kinds of people who are gonna judge you on what you wear or what you're doing probably don't have the mental security to do it themselves and they won't get very far with that mindset. I know it's so much easier said than done, but once you get into that mindset of not worrying about what other people think, it's so freeing and it's just like a weight lifted off your shoulders because you're not constantly worrying about what other people are thinking and you just kind of do your thing. As long as you feel confident and you feel happy, that is all that matters and that is all that should matter. All right, another hot tip is you don't have to have your whole future planned out. Believe it or not, especially once you leave high school, I feel like schools really push the fact that you must know what you wanna do before you finish school. Like, why was that so stressful? I went to university because that's what I thought I wanted. Don't get me wrong, it was amazing connecting with like-minded people and talking about interior design all day, every day. It's like, I met some really cool people, but at the end of the day, I wasn't happy. It wasn't really my scene. It just wasn't for me. And you will have so many ideas growing up, going through different stages of life. You will have different ambitions. None of them might not even be what you end up doing in the end. Like, it's crazy. We just keep coming up with new ideas and sometimes we chase those goals. Sometimes we don't. Like, once I finished high school, I wouldn't have thought that I'd be doing YouTube videos right now. You know, like, who? <laughs> What? I wish someone had told me that sooner because the last few years after high school have been hectic and I thought my life was not going anywhere because I didn't exactly have like a set goal that I wanted to do. Some people are out there having families. Some of my friends have brought a house or getting engaged and I'm just sitting here like, wait a minute. People grow up around you faster or slower than you. That's completely okay. So don't feel pressured in not knowing what you want to do. We pretty much all don't know what we're doing. We're all just winging it at this point, like... You're gonna need the zero fuck glasses for this one because this is a really hard pill to swallow. You're gonna need some water, maybe a big jug of water, actually. Only you can save yourself. You can whine and cry about every little shitty situation that's happening to you, every person who's done you wrong, all the little shitty things that keep adding up over time. Like, it gets big, it gets a lot. And you are more than welcome to rant 100%. Everybody needs a cheeky little rant every now and then. But at the end of the day, you and only you have the power to change your situation. Yes. It's so freaking scary. It is daunting, it's terrifying, but it is so much more freeing than scary once you start actually prioritizing yourself and changing your situation instead of allowing your situation to keep going in a terrible direction. And I recently learned this the hard way through seeing it from another perspective. Like I'm sure we've all had that friend that does not want help whatsoever. Like they'll ask for advice and they'll rant all the time, all this kind of stuff. And you give them paragraphs and love and phone calls and all the stuff that they need. But there's only so much you can do before you run out of all the things because they are simply not taking the advice. They're listening, they're hearing it. 
but they're not gonna take it. They just want to rant and then come back a week later and rant about the same thing. I'm sure we've all had that friend. I'm sure we've all been that person once before. At the end of the day, we are the only ones that can save us. We're the only ones that can help us. There's no Superman out there to come and save me. Like it has to be me. I told you that was a hard pill to swallow. And here's another one. What you allow in life is what you get. Once again, it took me a while to realize what this actually meant until I witnessed it from a third person perspective. The amount of times I would put up with shitty people or crappy situations because I was uncomfortable with confrontation and I was too scared of what the future may hold. Like for example, trying to quit a toxic job or leave a toxic relationship. Like you never know what the future is gonna hold, but it's much better trying to figure it out than being stuck. The longer you put up with shitty situations, the more you're allowing yourself to consistently get walked over like a doormat. You're slowly encouraging the toxicity in your life because you're just simply putting up with it. You are unstoppable. You're a bad bitch. Get the glasses. You're a bad bitch and nothing can take you down because you'll never again allow yourself to be okay with toxicity just because it's comfortable. It's so freeing. Trust me guys, if you have toxic people in your life, please don't keep them around. It doesn't matter how long you've known them for. It doesn't matter what they've done for you. If they're toxic, see you later. Sorry, bye. Family, all right, we're gonna stop with the glasses. Family doesn't mean blood. This is a good one because when you're an adult, you can actually choose your own family. Whoever makes you feel comfortable and loves you unconditionally, but also pulls you out when you start doing dumb shit. That is family and you are more than welcome to call anybody who gives you that warm, fuzzy feeling family. Just because two people decided to fornicate one night and bring you into this world, into their unfinished goals and beliefs, does not make them family. Just life givers. Sperm donors, if you will. Also, before my mum starts calling me, it's just a hypothetical situation that is very common. Put the phone down, Marie. It's okay. I love you. Mwah. It's okay to say no. This is really hard for me because I have been a people pleaser my whole life. The whole 23 years, I have been a people pleaser and it has been so exhausting. I'm ready for a nap. People pleasing equals no conflict. And that is very comfortable to a lot of people because I don't I don't want to start a fight, but at the same time, I also want to be happy. People always expect you to be a yes person. So instead of becoming a yes person, it's good to kind of transition into a, I will say yes if this benefits me person because people are scared of that. But get this guys, the people that only get pissed off when you stop saying yes are usually toxic people. And we don't want that in our life. So sorry, wasn't going to miss you anyway. Bye. Exercise is actually important. You would not hear me say that in a thousand years, but here I am. The amount of good things that actually happen to you when you go for a little walk or pick up some little weights, amazing. When you go on a little walk or go to the gym, whatever you wanna do, it releases so many good things in our body and that helps us mentally and physically. Like I could be feeling so down, mentally drained, in a slump, you know, my tummy hurts, <laughs> all that kind of stuff. I go for a little walk, my mind feels clearer, my body feels a little bit better. I'm not saying an exercise is a cure for all. Obviously it isn't. It can help you physically and mentally in so many little ways. It's definitely worth investing your time into. Stop bothering with one-sided things. This kind of relates back to what I was saying before about what you allow is what you get. Don't put up with one-sided situations, whether that's relationships or friendships. It's not worth it. Friendships and relationships can help us in so many ways and they can be so rewarding, but you should never be giving more energy than you are receiving. Before I go on, I just wanna say, friendships should be like scales. So sometimes you are giving 80% when they're only giving 20% and that's completely normal. Busy lives, personal problems, all that kind of stuff. But if you're always giving 80%, and they're only giving like 1%. See you later, bye. Too many times I've caught myself giving way too much energy than what I'm getting. It's the damn Libra in me. And I wonder why I'm so drained and so tired. And then I start digging myself into an unhealthy mindset of why am I not good enough? Trust me, it's not you at all. It is 100% them because you will always be enough for the right person. You will always have your energy reciprocated from the right people and you will never question your worth around the right people because they're never gonna let you think otherwise. We all deserve our energy to be reciprocated. Okay, we need the glasses for this one because this is a huge pill to swallow for some people. It's okay to be single. It's a bit weird coming from me because I am almost in a four year relationship this August, but let me tell you something. Come here, come here, let me whisper it to you. 
a relationship isn't gonna fix your problems. I was single my whole life up until I was 16. I was just happy focusing on myself, my friendships, my goals, fun little activities for myself because I didn't have siblings. And because of that, I think my independence has skyrocketed and you definitely need to love your alone time. It's so important. I see so many people throw themselves into relationships because they're simply trying to find their other half. They're only going to be happy when they find their person or all that kind of stuff and it's like no hang on you should already be happy you're already a complete person like finding someone to eat ramen in bed with you while you watch stranger things isn't completing you you know it's just an added bonus a relationship should never be something that completes you and i find that so important and you should work on finding happiness on your own instead of depending on a partner you know what they say you can't expect someone to love you if you don't love yourself it's harsh it's it hurts it hurts i only know that because that used to be me i completely lost my independence i completely lost myself and i would depend on other people to make me happy and it's just it is the worst mindset to have. It is so unhealthy. Mm, mm -mm. Not, not a phase I would recommend at all. It's a hard pill to swallow. I'm still swallowing that one. Um, well, guys, that is all the advice I had for you today. If you would like a part two, let me know down below because Big Sis Shell loves helping you guys out. I love spreading my words of wisdom with you guys if it made sense. I don't know if I actually made sense during this video. But I hope you guys enjoy. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below so you can let me know that you enjoy my video and to further support me in making this my dream career. All right, well, I'll see you guys on Thursday. So...